Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing how to resolve print spooler service errors in Windows 10. On the same principle, this tutorial applies to earlier versions of Windows as well. Basically, we're going to be going over if your print spooler service has stopped working and you might receive a pop-up indicating that. So in this tutorial, I will be showing how to set that up. So a lot of times the error message will actually read that, it, that you can't add a printer or you can't access a printer because the spooler is not running and it might ask you to restart the printer spooler or restart your computer and if the later does not work for you guys I'm going to be showing how to hopefully resolve this by actually following along with what it's asking us to do so we're gonna jump straight into it so we're gonna start by heading over to the start menu and we're going to type in services. Should be listed right above desktop app. So you want to left click on that. Now you want to scroll down in this list until you get to print spooler. So just go down this list until you get to the P's. And we see we have print spooler. You want to right click on it and then left click on properties. Underneath dependencies at the top right, so click on the dependencies tab, left click on that. Next to remote procedure call, you see we have two services right here. And as the name would suggest, these services are dependent upon the print spooler service. So if you want and which I would highly recommend making sure you do. After we're done going through this, I want you guys to check out both of these services and make sure they are both on as well and set to automatic. So anyway, so for some reason it says the service is stopped. You want to go underneath properties and then you want to left click on the start button. So I just stopped it right there just so it would say stop. So now that the principal or service has been stopped, you can left click on the start button right here or at the top left here of the services window, it says start the service. So you can enable it that way as well. And then if we go underneath dependencies like we went through before, we're going to do the same exact thing for these two. So the DCOM server process launcher and the RPC endpoint mapper. So we scroll up here. Sure enough, we have a DCOM server process launcher right here. Make sure this is also running as well. So if you have to go and right click on it and then properties, make sure that it is running and set to automatic. The same would go for the RPC endpoint mapper. There we go. And that should also be set to automatic and it should be running. Okay, so we can close out of here, and then I recommend restoring your computer. If you still get the same error alert, I'm going to be going through another workaround for you guys. Now, I believe this more or less applies to users of 32-bit versions of Windows. I don't know how effective it would be on a 64-bit machine. So just keep that in mind, but still there's a decent subset of the population that is running 32-bit versions of Windows. So this could definitely be applicable to many viewers of this video. So we're going to start by heading over to the start button here. And we're going to type in system. Should be listed right above control panel. So you want to left click on that. This window looks pretty much the same that it has since Windows 7 or even Windows Vista for that matter. But regardless, we're going to head over to the left side here where it says Advanced System Settings. And we're going to left click on that. So you want to go up to the Advanced tab at the top. So underneath the Advanced tab, you want to left click on the first Settings button right underneath Performance, Visual Effects, processor scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory. So left click on the settings button right here. Now navigate over to the data execution prevention tab at the top right. 
So basically what the data execution prevention is, it's designed to prevent bad programs from running on your computer. However, in some cases, this could be messing up your print spooler service. So we're going to turn it on for all programs and services except those that I select. And this will open up the exceptions window for us to edit. So we're going to just left click on this add button right here. So we're already underneath system 32, which is good. I'm glad they direct us to that right away. So we want to scroll down until we get to spool SV. So it's not going to say print spool. Uh, so I want you guys looking for that. So we're going to just keep scrolling down here. There we go, and there's a little printer icon next to it, or at least there should be. So pretty uh, easy to spot there. And then you want to left click on open. So it appears in my case, it's not letting me run the print spooler service with the DEP disabled, which is kind of strange, especially since this is a 32-bit version of Windows. Um, I should note, if you're running a 64-bit version, you will definitely not be able to do this. And it would not say that your computer's processor supports hardware-based DEP at the bottom. It just would not say that flat out. And then once your exception was put in here, assuming you were successfully able to do this alternative method, you would just left click on apply and OK. So it's unfortunate I wasn't able to fully show that in this tutorial, and I apologize for that. However, you guys get the gist. And in most cases, the first method should work just by restarting the service. Um, that usually does the trick. And again, I'd recommend restarting your computer as well in between the first and second methods if the first one did not work for you. But again, I'm optimistic that it will. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.